Hello, today we will be looking at the Cambridge IGCSE music listening paper. We are diving straight into Baroque music. Now, of course, I have made a video on a Baroque music excerpt before coming out of Cambridge's section A for this particular paper. And you can go ahead and look in the description down below where I have linked the video and you can watch that for all the details on the structure of the paper, how many times we get to listen to each extract or playing of the piece that they give us. But today we're going to hop right into the questions. So I have picked this excerpt from November 2020, paper 1-3. We are looking at a section A1 here, so it's the very first question in the whole of the music listening paper. We are going to dive right into the questions and then we are going to listen to the very beginning of a Cambridge listening paper. We are going to listen to the mysterious voice giving us instructions and then we will hop into our listening extract specifically linked to section A1. Okay, so the questions read as follows. They say we are given music A1, section A1. You will hear an extract from a piece of music for both voices and instruments. So we know what we're going to get ourselves into. We're going to hear voices, singing. We're going to hear instruments, instruments. Okay, the extract is divided into three sections shown below. The words in French are praising the king. Read through questions one to five. So they do tell us that the words are not going to be in English, they're going to be in French. They don't bother giving us any lyrics. They just say section one, there's a solo voice. Section two, there are two voices. And section three, there's a chorus. Okay, a little bit of information there. We step right into the questions. 1A, what type of voice is heard in section one? So here we know that we're only going to either say soprano, alto, tenor or bass according to a female or male voice every year and according to how high or low it is. We only have four options. We're given a space in which to write it, we just have to choose one. So on our very first listening even, we're going to listen to the type of voice that we hear. Question 1b, which of the following best describes the music that is sung by this voice? Is it an aria? Is it a call and response? Is it a melisma? Is it a recitative? Okay, so we're going to have a good listen and then we're going to tick one of the four options. Question 2, what is the texture of the music in section 2? Okay, so very specifically the middle section, what are we hearing? Are we hearing a single melodic line? Is it a melodic line and accompaniment? Are there many melodic lines fighting against each other? Which one is it? And then we have to use a nice texture word there. Question three, describe the way in which the music in section three reflects praising the king. Okay, so we don't have any English words to go by. We definitely have to dig deep into the music here. They do say that our mark allocation is one. So we can definitely say something short, sweet and simple, if it is correct. Then moving on to the next page, there are some questions there. Question four, from what type of larger work is this extract taken? And let me just be the first to say I'm very proud of Cambridge's English in this regard. Very nice. So we either have to choose a minuet and trio, a musical, an opera or a symphony. Okay, because we already have voices and instruments, we can say, ah, uh -uh, bye to symphony. And when we hop into the listening we can also say mm -mm, scratch that to some of the other options and then we will be able to tick which option it really is then the last two questions question 5a when was this music written so of course we need to choose between baroque classical romantic or modern or 20th century music now of course this video has everything to do with baroque music but we are also give two reasons for our answer so we're going to dig deep into good musical baroque reasoning and then we would have tied up this section of the paper. So what we're going to do now is steep into our listening. I'm going to play the mysterious voice from the very beginning of the CD. And then we will listen to our Brock focused extract. This is the Cambridge Assessment International Education. Cambridge IGCSE. November 2020 Examination in Music. Component 1. Listening. Instructions to candidates, write your name, centre number and candidate number in the spaces at the top of your question paper. Answer all questions in sections A, B and C. For each question, tick one of the boxes to show the most appropriate answer or write your answer in the space provided. There will be time for you to look at the questions before you hear each extract of music. At the end of section C, there will be a five minute pause for you to check your answers in sections A, B and C. 
in section D, answer all the questions on the one set work you have studied. You will find the scores for music C1 and your chosen set work in the insert. You may find it helpful to make notes on the music as you listen. The number of marks is given in brackets at the end of each question or part question. Turn to page two now. Section A. You will hear two examples of music selected from the Baroque, Classical or Romantic periods or the 20th century. Each extract will be played four times with a pause between each playing. Music A1. You will hear an extract from a piece for voices and instruments. Read through the questions now. So of course, this is the part of the CD on which there is a programmed silence. And of course, we are only dealing with section A1 today, so we will just be listening to the first part of the CD. I'm going to skip through some of the silence. I'm going to start at the very beginning of our extract that we're focusing on for today. And here we go. Now listen to music A1 and answer the questions. Nice little extract and now we can hop in and answer the questions so of course within a certain section you don't have to answer the questions from top to bottom or beginning to end you can sort of move around so that's what we're going to do I am going to start at question one but then I'm going to move around a little bit okay so that we can get what we do know already by one listening out of the way and then we can listen again and focus on some more specific things so question one, what type of voice is heard in section one? Of course, we hear a very high female voice. So that is a soprano, a given over there. One B, they ask us which of the following best describes the music. So of course, mm -mm, not call and response, not melisma. It's definitely not an aria, a full on classic operatic aria. This is definitely more speech sung or speech singing, speak like singing. So it's a recitative. I'm going to skip now to the next page. Question four, from what type of larger work is this extract taken? So, of course, we already said mm -mm, it can't be a symphony. Now, of course, it can't be a musical either. Okay, it's just not musical-like. Then, minuet and trio, no, not that at all. It has to be opera, that's the final option, but also it is from an opera. It's not from a classical opera, as we may think and know that to be. It's definitely Baroque opera, yeah, but we will get to the baroque things now. So we'll go ahead and tick opera. Question five, when was this music written? So we can either say the Baroque period, and if we really do forget the name of the period, even though they do say to us, you will hear something from the Baroque or classical or 19th century or 20th century. If you forget the technical word, you can give the date. So you can say 1600, 1750. Don't say anything else. Don't say any old things. Just say Baroque or say the dates. There we go. Then we need to give two reasons for our answer. The very Baroque instrument that Cambridge would like us to know at this level, and your 16 year old self should know this, it is the harpsichord. So the presence of the harpsichord right there, that definitely is a reason for why this is a Baroque work. We can also expand on that and say the presence of basso continuo or even the lute, that will give us our mark. We can also talk about the small string orchestration or the small string orchestra 
and then we can talk about the additional ornaments on top of what the written work would have been so of course i'm hearing ornaments in there i can be pretty sure it's not written down it's an interpretive thing by the performer historically informed performance practice so ornamentation definitely a baroque thing and it is definitely a reason for why this work is a baroque work and it will get you your mark there so we have only left out two things i've left out question two and question three so when we listen again we're going to listen explicitly to the texture of the second section now there is a very short first section then it goes to a i would say a medium length the second section and then the third section is also somewhat of a medium length so the second section comes very shortly after the first section so when you hear two voices you know that is going to be the second section let's hear and let's listen to the texture and then a very interesting sort of interpretive thing we're going to listen to how section three could actually reflect praising the king so how does section three musically praise the king let's hop into our listening for the second time and then answer our final two questions music a one second playing better with their extra timings they always do seem to end on an awkward point even in their given listenings for section a of an as level paper it ends awkwardly but okay we get the picture so to our question two and then to our question three so definitely the texture of the music in section two that was homophonic i heard a clear melody and a clear accompaniment just because there were two voices doesn't mean there are multiple melodies against each other or multiple melodies layered on top of each other it was definitely melody and accompaniment it's a homophonic texture there so then the very interesting interpretive type question only worth one mark so we need to give one fact here but describe one way in which the music in section three reflects praising the king so of course i'm hearing a full ensemble and it's very fast that is what i would put down personally but of course there are other reasons so we'll discuss that now of course, just saying that there are many voices will get you something. And then, of course, we are hearing this in a major key. So this very uplifting, you can say that's very praise-like or honoring-like to someone maybe fit to be a king. You definitely do want to make reference to the large chorus and to the violent flourish right at the end when Cambridge awkwardly cuts us off with the listening. Then we also have something very fanfare-like, almost like a musical announcement, like announcing a king, announcing someone famous and or important, and or maybe even both. So we have this sort of fanfare-like shape or rhythm that is very, very loud. So any of those will get you your marks there. So there we go, a nice little Baroque extract all tied up for us. And I do hope that this has helped you for your preparation for your Cambridge IGCSE music listening paper regarding Baroque music. <laughs>